OK. We are live and up. My name remains Anibe Tassawa. Today, our topic is focused on support and resistance, like forex support and resistance. Already you know what support is and you know what resistance is, but today we'll be looking in-depthly on how you use this concept in your trading. You understand? So let's just continue right away. Forex support and resistance levels are the foundation of any good strategy. Whether you are using a simple price action strategy like I'm using or something more complex or maybe wave trading, you still need to use forex support. It forms a roadmap to a successful uh, trading strategy. So resistance also means supply. Uh, any resistance level in the forex market a resist any resistance level in the forest market starts with an increase in supply so in other words sellers who feel the current price is at a premium and wish to sell in hopes for a lower future price so you normally sell most most of the time traders sell at resistance levels you know resistance level is always above above the price level is always above so since selling is downward so you sell at any resistance level if the resistance level is not broken um, we go we talk more about that on the next slide demand any support level in the forest market starts with an increase in demand in other words buyers who feel that the current price is at a discount and wish to buy in hopes of a higher future price buy at these levels so support levels is always below below the current market price so when prices get to each support level traders tends to look for buying opportunities because as at that time the price is at is at a lower a lower rate so you buy from the bottom now this chart you are seeing here it looks strange but this is a candlestick stick chart so you can see from here now this line saved as both resistance and also a support at this level you see traders who feel price will go down since it's at a premium start selling also here they started selling and at the same time over here when the resistance was broken over here when the resistance was broken price went up came back to retest this broken resistance and continue so at this point at this point traders look for buying opportunities because the, the previous resistance had been broken and it now turns support the same thing to support some sometimes mo, sometimes when supports a support level is broken it turns to a resistant level so as you can see from this chart above here we had a well-defined forex support and resistance by which we trade from this is how we can use the concept of supply and demand to advantages as price action traders so anytime you open a chart and you want to trade make sure you draw this support and resistance levels chart now this is another example as you can also see on this chart here we had a resistance until price broke above it and we have got a retest and from here it was no more resistance it was now a support level resistance is always like above up the ceiling and support is on the floor like the floor the base so like here you can see traders from here started looking for sell opportunities and they sold and when price came back to here again sellers still people that intend to like traders that intend to sell sell from here down until when price broke above and we start having support here support here and here is still set as support so you see when it happens like this traders start looking for buying opportunities and they keep buying as far as the support zone is not yet broken as soon as the resistance form from this two swing high a technical trader should expect that the level sh should hold as a support of course we always want to see price action signal as confirmation 
but the general idea is that a broken resistance level becomes a new support. We can therefore use the new support level as a foundation for a potential trade setup. So that is exactly what happened here. Price action traders immediately they see that the resistance has been broken. They now wait for this confirmation and after that all they look for is buying opportunities in the market. Now, these are guides to drawing good support and resistance levels. Yes, and support and resistance represent key turning points where forces of sellers or suppliers or buyers meet. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Sup support and resistance represent key turning points where the forces of sellers and buyers meet. Buyers always look to buy at support levels resistance always and um, sellers always look to to sell at resistance levels so in other words whenever you are trading first of all look at the chart where is price at if the price is at a support zone start looking for a buy um, opportunities from there if price is at a resistance you start looking for uh, selling opportunities from there so these few points are the guides in drawing a good support and resistance levels on your chart one don't draw too many levels don't cluster your your chart like every 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 turning point you see on the chart you start drawing the levels no you don't do that when you do that your chart will be so dirty and crowded you won't be able to see what is happening or even understand the trend so you don't draw too many levels always draw them on a higher time frame like the daily the weekly and probably the monthly time frame because the higher time frame gives strong confirmation that these levels will hold include many touches for example if i should go back to this chart here you can see we had one touch here we had a touch here we had another one here this is another one even if we didn't this one didn't really touch and we had another one here about four touches so always try to include as many touches as possible try to include as many touches as possible so draw them on higher time frames okay we talked about that give a minimum of 200 pips before you draw the next one for example let me still use this other this other chart here now let's just assume from here we had the first one the first um, line here and you draw another one here no it's too close it's too close rather this is what you do since you have another one here the next level should be here because we have this this and this so you should always give a good number of pips for the gaps you don't just cluster your chart anyhow see support and resistance levels as i see them as zones not as price levels and what i'm trying to say here is that you see for example we just have one line here and if we were looking at this on a lower time frame you 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 would notice that we have candles above here now if you take your support and resistance and uh, uh, levels just as a price level like this you may feel on a lower time frame that price has broken the resistance level and you start looking for buy then all of a sudden this happens so you you look at these levels this your support and resistance as uh, zones for example you draw the first line like this or you draw the second one I will talk uh, intensively and in depth when during the price action course. So that is why I'm advising after this free uh, foundation course, you try as much as possible to register and sign up for the foundation and uh, for the price uh, pro trader course, so that you get more explanation, more examples on how to use this support and resistance levels while trading. So.
focus on key levels. What I mean by focus on key levels is that you don't just take any level as your support or resistance zone. Like this are where key levels. You can see them. Key turning point. This was not a key level. And this or here was not a key level. Rather, this way the key level. Like here, here, here. Those were the key level. So you always try and focus on the key levels while trading, while plotting, sorry, while plotting your support and resistance. And make sure, see them as zones, not just as price levels. Give a minimum of 200 pips. Include many touches. Draw them on higher time frames and don't draw too many uh, levels. When you do this, six things this guide guides you in uh, plotting a good support and resistance so if you are able to do this you have you always have a higher probability of winning your trade if you are trading of the you are trading on the support and uh, resistance uh, strategy so that is what we cover today on that um, topic so don't forget to sign up for the pro trader course starting next um, next week next week is going to be in depth filled with a lot of information and secrets about the market and how you can use the support and resistance you can even use the support and resistance alone as your trading strategy and, and make money but i will talk in depthly on this during the pro trader course so try and sign up then don't forget follow us on social media on youtube on Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also chat us on WhatsApp or call if you need any information. You call us or chat on WhatsApp and can even you can even also send a mail to us for inquiries. They will reply very fast. Thank you for your time. I hope this video was educating and you have learned a lot from, from it. Thank you very much.